Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Can I get a hell yeah? Today we're making a Jamaican comfort food classic brown stew chicken, easily made into a vegan dish as well. But we're using chicken today. So I'm gonna start off with some washed chicken thighs, washed in some vinegar and water, let it soak, swish it around, rinse it off. Then I'm gonna take some red and orange peppers because they are sweet and delish and give a lot of flavor. I'm actually not a huge fan of peppers but I will cook them down so that they sweeten up and give a nice flavor to our sauce. It will be boiled down quite a bit and it does actually add a really nice freshness to the dish. I'm going to remove the white stem parts of the peppers which helps to remove some of the bitterness. I'm using a smaller knife for this. Um, also don't look at my knife skills, I'm not a chef but I do uh, what's within my means of safety, I guess. But I do get a lot of cuts, so don't take any tips from me. Anyways, I'm always trying to keep my knuckles near the blade so that I can guide the sharp end away from my fingertips. And I'm just doing kind of a rough chop, nothing too fancy because like I said, these will be cooked down quite a bit. They'll lose their shape, so because it's being cooked down into a stew. And I usually like to use a variety of colored peppers just because it gives a really nice look and color to the dish. So giving them lengthwise chops and adding that to our washed chicken. Niggity next up, I've got some scotch bonnet peppers and I'm just gonna cut two of them in half Put them in our marinade. Next up, fresh thyme leaves, mm, the bomb. I'm gonna throw quite a few sprigs of those in there. Now, China Lily's soy sauce is one of my favorite soy sauces because it's not too salty. You can add a lot, it'll add really nice color, add a little bit more, and this is our salt for the dish. You can always taste it later and add more salt if you need to, but I really like the China Lily soy sauce. Next up, I have some all-purpose seasoning. I really like to use seasoning that doesn't have any salt in it because you can always add way too much seasoning and it's okay, but if you add too much salt, you can totally spoil the whole dish. So I use seasoning that has no salt. Again, this is a brand called Irie and it's mostly thyme and just to give a little bit more flavor to the chicken, but it's kind of an undertone to bring the flavor out. Next up, I've got the Grace browning sauce. It's basically like caramel, but um, it's good in savory or sweet dishes. I usually use it to add a little bit of color and not caramel, like a sweet candy caramel. So it almost just gives like a nice dark brown color and deeper flavor to the dish. Next up, everybody's got this, some ketchup. I actually only had sugar-free ketchup because I was like doing keto a little while ago and that'll work just to give a little bit more of the sugar and tomato paste, I guess. You could use tomato paste if you wanted to. This is also a really great opportunity if you have any wrinkly tomatoes on the bottom of your fridge that you haven't gone through yet. So I had these cherry tomatoes that I hadn't finished that I got for salads. And again, please don't pay attention to my knife skills but I'm just kind of cutting them in half. These will not hold their shape whatsoever. Once they're in the sauce, they're gonna fully break down, so I'm just cutting them in half to release all the flavor, and then I'm gonna throw those babies in. And again, just a really rough chop, no special knife skills. You're just kind of breaking those down in half. I also had another tomato that was on its way out, and because I've made so much, I usually like to take food that I cook over to my mom's house to drop it off. So I like to cook for a family of 12 so I can share it with people if they stop by or give it away, which I have been doing more lately because we can't go nowhere. Anyways, again, rough chop doesn't need to be perfect. It's gonna break down into the sauce. I'm gonna take a very large yellow onion, just cutting off the end. You can save these bits and the skin to make a nice stock later on. Any type of veggie stock or chicken stock, soup, whatever just peeling off the onion layer of skin and I'm gonna give that another rough chop. Adding that into our marinade. I wanna marinate this chicken, well, it's good to do minimum an hour, I'd say three hours, second minimum, and the best is overnight. My mom got me this minced garlic from Costco because I love the garlic powder there, but she thought I loved the minced garlic. So anyways, I'm trying to use this as much as I can. You can use fresh garlic, but it's such a big jug, so I just put a ton of it in there. Like I said, fresh garlic works really well. I'm just trying to get through this tub my mom got me bless her heart love her so much thank you very much next up, i'm going to take some allspice powder you could also put full-on pimento berries in there but which is whole allspice but i just put the allspice powder i'm going to go in with a little bit of pepper well quite a bit of pepper feels like this took forever because this is such a huge pot think of a large popcorn bowl it's almost the size of it and i'm going to go in with some tongs and give it a nice mix so that everything is evenly coated 
You wanna let this sit in your fridge. If you don't have time, I mean, that's fine. This is a dish that really sits well in the fridge. So tomorrow when you eat it, if you don't have enough time to really marinate, you will still get really intense flavor the next day. Just the same way a curry or a chili, anything that has a lot of spices in it kind of develops the next day in the fridge, you'll still get that rich flavor. But of course, I highly recommend marinating so that sauce goes all the way through. I'm using silicone tongs so I'm not smushing everything um, too much. Next up, I'm gonna take some Coconut oil, I don't really like this coconut oil that much. I feel like the flavor is a weird taste. But anyways, I'm putting coconut oil on my rice, so I thought I might as well cook with the coconut oil. But typically you'd use vegetable oil or canola oil for this dish, but here we are. And I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna work to separate the chicken from the vegetables. And I'm gonna put the thighs down, skin side down. I will say this pot is probably not big enough for the amount that I'm putting in here so I'm using high heat and I want to get a rich caramel flavor on the chicken or brown the chicken first and I'll just flip it over once it is browned on the skin side and keep in mind the skin and fat in the chicken will release quite a bit of oil so for the amount of veggie that I have um, you don't need to add any more oil because that will come from the chicken but you want to have this nice brown color it could almost look burnt but we're just trying to develop those flavors keep in mind that browning has made it quite a bit darker so I'm gonna flip it over to the other side it's okay if some of the skin kind of falls off because that again will be sort of melted into the sauce once that's browned on each side I'd say about three to five minutes on each side I'm gonna transfer that into a bowl and set it aside we have all of the sauce that has come from the chicken on the bottom and the coconut oil. And I'm gonna start to cook down my veggies. So I'm putting everything in, all of our peppers, our onions, and I'm gonna mix that around with the thyme. And I wanna cook that down so that the vegetables are a little bit caramelized. Once that happens, you can add your chicken back. I accidentally flung that across my whole kitchen. And I just wanna evenly disperse it so that it's sitting somewhat in between the vegetables and somewhat underneath and the heat is still on low. Now I'm going to add about a cup of chicken stock. Again, if you're doing this vegan or vegetarian, you can use veggie stock, of course. I'm going to turn it on low and cover it similar to the way that you would with rice. Bring it to a boil and then cover it on low. So I personally really like the Japanese rice. I just think that it has like a really nice chewiness to it. It's usually what I buy. I really like it. So I usually do one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water because I like it a little bit more moist. It recommends one and a third of a cup, but anyways, I do what I want. So I'm gonna add a little bit of kosher salt to that and some of the coconut oil. Again, I didn't really like this rice that much. I wish I didn't add the coconut oil, but um, typically I add coconut oil, but this is a new one that I wasn't really feeling the flavor of, but it's still delicious. So once that comes up to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down all the way on low and then give that a cover as well. And our pot has been simmering for about 20 minutes. For the last 10 to 15 minutes, I would say your total amount of time would be about 30 minutes simmering, I would say. You could even leave it for longer if it's on really low. You wanna add some raw sugar. I actually tried it the other day with some maple syrup, and like real maple syrup, and it was really good. The sugar is gonna help to sweeten it a little bit and then thicken the sauce. I'm also gonna remove one of the scotch bonnet peppers because it would be hot fire, but a lot of that flavor has cooked into the sauce and I just wanna make sure it's not too, 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 too spicy, but it's still gonna have a lot of heat with that one scotch bonnet in there. It depends on your spice level. You can let it simmer and cover and thicken again on low for a little bit longer, but you can see our veggies have kind of cooked down. Our rice is ready and uh, there you go. I mean, it doesn't look crazy but it sure is mother loving delicious and here I tried it and it was really hot but really 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 good so there you have it my first cooking video holy moly can't believe I did it after this many years to make a brown stewed chicken let me know in the comments below how you like this video and if you're finna try or any tips on how you like to make brown stewed chicken at home thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to share subscribe and follow love yourself stay pretty and I'll see you guys again in the next video take care